Yo, what's up? It's DNA for sure, aka Rod Kama Kama. And this video is about happiness and negativity. Negativity is a must. War is necessary. I had a little bit to drink, about uh, one, two, three, maybe four-ish beers. And I'm going to continue to drink during this video. But this is more of a rant. And it might, I'm going to add a guided meditation at the end. I have about 1.9 gigs on my phone. But I have a 15 minute limit. So let's go into it. People who feel happy, positivity, joy, gladness all the time. We all know people like this. Those people, excuse the noise that's following after I do this. But those people, A.E. Lock, I don't know what that means. Let's lock on my face since I'm so beautiful. Those people are not real. Those people are the most oppressed people that you will ever meet. Either that or they're fake. Or they have a lot of responsibility in their lives. And it requires them to put a mask on their face, on the reality. If you're happy all the fucking time, there's something wrong with you. I enjoy being happy. I enjoy feeling positivity. I'm a pleasure seeker. That's why I do what I do. That's why I make these videos. That's why I put gel in my hair to make me look extra sexy. That's why I put Big ass nose rings in my nose to make me feel pleasure. That's why I jack off so much. That's why I talk to bad bitches and do what I do. But that's besides the point. Negativity is a must. Everything, not everything, a lot of what you love, a lot of what you perceive as positivity came from a place of negativity, all the comedians, all the poetry, all the art, all the music. That came from somebody who was aware of themselves, who loves themselves, who evaluated themselves enough to know that negativity is a must. It's gonna happen, it has to happen. They learned how to master themselves enough to direct these feelings and these emotions. Emotions are energies created by your past, your present, and your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. They knew how to direct these energies and turn them into something else. They exalted these. Shout out to Till Scott, the beautiful. Teal Swan, visit her page, please. I know you will, because you need to. They knew how to direct these energies, to convert these energies, like Ra M. Hotep from 13 Science Astrology said. They knew how to turn shook shit into sugar. And that's why this world is so great. All the comedy that you like, all the music that you love, all the clothes that you wear came from somebody that was feeling so negative, somebody that was in lack, that chose not to think about the lack that they had and chose to think about what could be. They chose to think about the future, which is now, which is the past, plus all the negativity plus all the positivity. I don't know if you saw my other video, but every time that you interact with a person, all you're really seeing is the negativity, the scars that they went through and healed and still have, the issues that they've acknowledged and chose to heal or not, and how they use them to make themselves beautiful. Drug dealers and drug addicts are some of the most interesting people, the most 
charismatic and attract the people because they have addictions, because they live a hard life and they have to interact with a lot of people. You can't be a drug addict unless you fucking interact with a lot of people. And drug dealers who deal with a lot of drug addicts, they interact with thousands of people and they don't even know it. You have your average crack dealer, your average coke dealer. They sell drugs to people who do drugs a lot, every day, all day, and they never fucking skip a beat. Those people have to interact with thousands of people, at least a hundred people, at least hundreds of people. And when you multiply that, you interact with thousands of people as a person of sales of crack or any kind of illegal drug. Fuck crack. I don't condone that. I hate crack. Never tried it. Never will. But my whole point is negativity is not something that should be shunned. If you're angry, <clears throat> don't let somebody tell you that anger is a bad thing. If you're sad, if you're depressed, you're doing something that's detrimental to your, to your mental or your physical health. Don't let anybody tell you that that's bad. It might be bad right now. It might be, it's bad if you don't know how to handle it, if you don't know how to direct it. I'm going to teach you how to do that by the end of this video. Don't let anybody tell you that being violent, being angry, being sad, being depressed, being narcissistic, being anything that might be detrimental to your health or your well-being right now is, is a bad thing. Being disrespectful is bad. Because when you disrespect someone else, you're disrespecting yourself. You're showing God that you don't care about him. You're showing the universe that you're better than the universe. That's not okay. Negativity is a must. There's people who are born in this world. My mother told me my cousin died the first time that I've ever experienced a real serious death that hit home when I was nine years old. My cousin Crystal died. Crystal Poe. Crystal with a K. J. Poe. P-O-W-E. She died in a freak accident. Some final destination type shit. She told me that there's some people in this world whose purpose, whose sole purpose was to die, to show other people how good it feels to be alive, to show other people what they're really fucking made of. And from that, I took through a little bit of meditation, a little bit of reading, a little bit of learning, that there's people in this world who are meant to make this, this existence and this reality a negative reality. There's people who were born in this world to kill thousands of people. There's people in this world that were born to kill one person. There's people in this world whose purpose was to fucking be born and commit suicide. Just to show, just to send a message. I'm not saying you should commit suicide. I'm not saying that you need to kill people to get your message up across. I'm not saying that. So if you say that's what I say, you're not receiving this message correctly and you need to stop watching this video right now if that is what you think I'm telling you. What I'm saying is there are some people out there who are supposed to make this world shitty. There's people out there who have mental health issues that are supposed to do what they do, affect people in a horrible way just to make the positivity more valuable. Why? Because you're not supposed to be happy and positive and purposeful and determined and aggressive and, and, and motivated all the time. Because if that was the real reality of this, everything would be horrifically fucking boring. I don't want people to dress like me. I don't want people to talk like me. I don't want people to like the same colors as me all the time. But those few people that do relate to me 
and can build relationships with me. I appreciate them a lot more. You know why? Because there's not that many people like me that can relate to me, that talk like me, that come from where I come from, that have the same issues as me. And those small amount of people out of 7 billion people in this world, I appreciate them a lot the fuck more. I appreciate the people who do the opposite of me, who compliment and oppose me. If you don't have any enemies, well, you're just never going to grow. You're going to be doing the same thing. You're going to wake up, put your fucking pants on that you wore last night that's laying right by your bed, switch your shirt, not brush your fucking teeth, get a 40, and do the same shit. And the people that don't tell you that you're not supposed to do that are the people are your enemies. Who are your enemies? You have to embrace your enemies. That's why you have to love your haters. So if you want to get over your anger and your sadness and depression, this is how you do it. To make this life a more creative, interesting, stimulating, yielding life for you. When you feel angry, that comes from the root chakra in your genital area. Feel it. You feel it. You feel angry. This this female just called you a stupid bitch. This dude just called you a stupid bitch. Your your employee er just told you that you didn't work the past four hours and you're gonna get your check late. You're angry. What you do is you breathe it. You breathe it up your spine. You feel it. You feel it getting hot and hotter and hotter. You feel it going up your spine. And the last thing that you do is you breathe it up out of your crown into the universe. You do that more and more and more. And the more that you do that, the easier that it gets. And you do it so much because you feel so much anger that you don't even have to think about it eventually. Every time you get angry, you have second thoughts about what you're feeling, but you know it's anger. But it goes from your roots up your spine into your crown. And every time you do that, you get all these amazing ideas. Your crown is finally connecting with your root chakra, and that's all that you wanted. When you feel sad and you feel depressed, you go to a place of sexuality. You go to your sacral chakra. You breathe that into your heart when you feel sad. And you breathe it into your, the center of your heart. And you know what you do? You do yogic breaths. You take it into your center, your heart, and you breathe it forward. Because that's what energy does. It moves forward. It never recedes. It moves forward. Because that's what your thoughts are for, to advance you. And then after you get all of that bullshit out, and you add love to it, you feel much better. Because that's what I feel. Then, because depression and sadness comes from a lack. From you not having something that you feel like you're entitled to, that you want, that you need, or that's, that is a hole in you. You fill that hole with nutrition. You fill that hole with socializing and you fill that hole with physical nutritional gratification and that's all that you need a little bit of food a little bit of water a little bit of sunlight because you're just a plant and plants move a lot more than you perceive so when you feel angry breathe that anger into your spine up into the universe the phrase is give it to god that's for a reason you are your own god so when you give it to yourself in a different way when you take the the sadness and the depression and you give it love in your heart but you let it go and give it nutrition it does you much better that's it dna for sure rock peace